No, obviously, I mean, football, it's a game played for two teams, and both both game plans are playing the game together. So we want to always take the initiative, no matter what the opponent propose. We want to be a proactive team all the time. And then there's, there's tactical adjustments during the game, according with the the proposal of the opponent. The opponent, same as us, uh, when we are on the ball, the opponent will deny us some certain spaces and they will allow us to go to some certain spaces. And then the other type of spaces, the ones that we are going to create due to our game plan. And it's the same in the other direction. So without trying to sound too smart, what I can tell you is that we, we need to, to to adapt ourselves to the circumstances, but our intention is always that the opponent will adapt themselves to what we want to do. Can takes sometimes takes time, like today, uh, because I think we have a first half with a lot of control, uh, with many opportunities to find that last pass close to the box to put us in advantage, if not of the keeper or in one v one inside the box. A couple of wrong decisions, but. Uh, I think we were creating that that fatigue in the opponent, you know, to defend constantly. That gave us more space in the second half to to finalize the job. So uh, we play 90 minutes for a reason, and every minute counts. It's not only that yeah we scored two goals in the last minutes, but it's due to all the things that we were doing during the other 85 or 80 minutes. Yes, so this depends um, <laughs> nine games now, seven wins, two throws. Um, just how much confidence is now and morale? How high is the morale in the squad now after such a impressive start of the season? And then, secondly, um, last season when you guys struggled to get three points against teams that were bottom of the table, a lot of criticism came against you playing by you know, two defensive midfielders. Today we saw a team play in a, a position where you, you, you play Makaola with them. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that you maybe, I wouldn't say learned, but tweaking now the season, going against a team that's you know, not going to go toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with you guys. Well, first of all, um the, the concept of a defensive midfielder for me it, it's, it's, it's not is not in my in my planet. I mean, every every midfielder is defensive when we have to defend and we don't have the ball. Okay, uh, but I understand what you are saying. I think it's more about the conditions and the profiles of the players who are on the field. And uh, what we try to do all the time is to be a a team that is balanced, is balancing every phase of the game. It's easy to to have the temptation when you manage a, a squad like our squad to, to, to just, you know, put, put everything, in, all your, put your hopes only in the talent and the capacity to play forward and the technical skills and stuff, but you need that balance as well. Sometimes you, you need to control the game with the possession like we did today in the first half, probably due to the profile of the players that we have on the field. And there are games that you cannot control within the possession, so you need something different. So what I'm trying to say is that the, the start 11 always is, is always related with the game plan, with our intention on the game. And sometimes we need different type of profiles. Luckily enough, we have the possibility most of the times, not always, to 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 choose the right ones. And uh, and in the end, the most important is is that we can compete. And and I think uh, there's an evolution in the team also to to understand better what the game is asking. And uh, today was one more proof. And there, like I said, there's a moment for. I think the contribution of uh, uh, talent and KB was exceptional today. But then when, when Makaula came in, he put his part also to control the game, to, to give us the possibility to, to
to control the spaces in front of Olisa and, and, and Pepe, to have more capacity to steal the ball and run in transitions when we are leading. So, uh, again, uh, good contribution from the bench. And obviously, the, 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 the performances and the numbers that we are providing right now, it's, it's, uh, it's helpful for all of us to confirm that we are working in the right way, but for someone who didn't watch our games recently or is, is checking the phone tonight and they can see that Pirates won at home 3-0, probably they will think that it's, it, it was an easy game and, and these guys are, are playing fantastic and we're going to win everything this season, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. And, and we know how difficult it is, how much we need to to continue working, to be humble, to understand that the victories are coming because we are working so hard and the moment that we we, we don't put the attention there, we're not going to find ourselves in this space. So it's time to to keep our feet on the ground, to, to keep looking forward, looking to the horizon. We know where we want to go, but at the same time we know that week after week is going to be more and more and more difficult. Congratulations on uh, another victory and another Thank you. Um, I was just checking, um, I think Kev has delayed the kickoff of the crusades by a month, so it's no longer going to be between October and uh, December now. Um, so in terms of in terms of your planning, um, does that allow you at least to have a, a full goal before the long travels? Um, in the league um, program, and, and also in the latest uh, one of our prelims that has been released, uh, Tabi Sosasane is, is in the team. Um, but I would like to know more, Kush, in terms of your philosophy uh, on how do you do this thing. Because we've seen most of these boys that you introduce and then they get the attention uh, of the national team. Um, and most of them, they would have waited, even with, sitting with us on the stands, but once they start to play, they make this impression. What more goes in into your preparation of the skills? Uh, to the first question, I cannot give you an answer because it's the first new I have. So first I need to know <laughs> that what you are saying is like that. Uh, sorry. Um, anyway, I'm, the answer is, even if I know, the answer is going to be the same. We. We, don't, we are not in control of those things. The only thing that we can do, like I said many, many times, is to, to plan as good as possible, depending on the circumstances. It's part of the, the it's an important percentage to succeed when you, when you manage one squad. So we will do it in the best of our capacity one more time. And the, the second is more your reflection than a question itself. I don't know how to, how yeah. to answer. I'm, I'm, I think it's a good new any time that there's a Pirates player in the list of uh, whichever national team, in this case Bafana Bafana. I don't, I don't even know, yeah, and you're telling me the news right now, I don't, I don't even know who is there. I was quite busy there outside today. Uh, but happiness for the boys, I think uh, uh, if, if, the, if coach, coach Hugo is, is putting the eyes in, in our boys, we are happy and it's, it's because they are performing well and good enough to, to get that responsibility because it's a big one to play for your, for your country, play for Bafana. So it's something that makes us feel uh, very, very proud. And again, hopefully in the future, little by little, we, we get in more space. Huh? Mandela, Coach, mine is just out of the stands. I'm um, just a little light on coach. The colors of Orlando Pirates and the colors of the Betway Premiership are the same. Black, black and white. Mm -hmm. Yes, just throwing forward, coach. It's a new trophy. You're doing quite well. Um, surely. I know, I know where you're going. <laughs> I know where you're going, but we play two games. I know. We play two games. We are so happy to 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 collect the, the maximum points in these two games. 
Uh, but right now, our full attention, trust me, is already in Ritzas Bay, is in recovery tonight, is traveling to Durban to, to group again and make sure that, if I'm not wrong, you can correct me, but I think we played three times against Ritzas Bay the last season. We got eliminated in the Carling Cup. We drew nil-nil in, in Durban, and we lost the game here in Orlando. So it, it goes without saying that it's going to be a very tough game, and if we want to collect the maximum there, we need to focus only on that one. OK? <laughs> and one more. Uh, Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Another good performance today. Bravo for the for the SABC Tech team. Um, Coach, you really mentioned the fact that you've got a very good squad, uh, that you there's massive competition in the squad. That's for, how do you keep these players level-headed now, now that they're achieving so much? You know, the fact that they've done so well at the start of the season when some teams have faltered, Pirates have come up and done very well. You managed to get the monkey off your back with the win against running Galaxy home in a way. You're in the third season in South Africa now. Uh, how do you keep that team intact and keep them knowing what the big, that the big prize is as a team? And how do you also keep the competition healthy within the squad so that everyone who comes in raises their hands and really delivers for the team? Well, it's not, it's not one thing. Uh, I think it's, it's in the end, the, the, the key in our, in our job is to create, the, and it's difficult, very difficult is to create the create the right culture in the group in the team meaning it, everything counts it's not only what you see during 90 minutes every time you have the opportunity to come to the stadium is much more um, that's that's where we spend the most of the time in trying to find a way to create the winning culture the the culture where you know the how can I say like we don't get over emotion, emotional about what we are doing, and we keep our feet on the ground, and we understand the responsibility of of uh, representing this brand, and we appreciate how much the fans are behind us right now, and that's giving us a a clear picture of the place where we are, and all of the things that we we are we have. We are ourselves as a group and also some of the individuals that are part of the group in a space that we were never uh, been before. Uh, so it's a learning process, like like you said now, Cesane going to the national team, hopefully, because I guess it's the preliminary list. Well, it's a new opportunity for one more player to to be surround of uh, experienced players, to get that, that experience in the continent, and we get benefit of all of these things that are happening, like going to the group stage, having the opportunity to, to challenge the best teams in the continent. All of those things together are the key to, to keep the group ambitious, to keep the group humble, and to keep the group uh, still wanting to be something in football. You know, it's important the amount of players that we have, young players with ambition, players that still want to make uh, their, their own history in, the, in this business.